This show is proudly brought to you by TraderCobb.com. If you want to get bi-weekly video newsletters on the markets that are not shown anywhere else, just subscribe underneath this video on the homepage. If you'd like to get some access to the free webinars to work out exactly what these trading strategies are about, pretty simple. Just go to free webinars. And if you've got friends or family and you'd like to learn more about blockchain and what the opportunity is, well, I've got a full 40 minute course there for you under free courses. Please share this link around and get involved and enjoy the show. <laughs> The Trader Cobb Crypto Show, talking business in blockchain. Good everybody and welcome to the Trader Cobb Crypto Podcast. Hope you're a fantastic start, finish, middle, or whatever it is part of your day. Looking at the markets right now, geez, we've got a bit of a mixed bag today actually. Looking across the top 10 currently, and of course, I'll take you through the prices. We've got some that are up quite nicely and some that aren't. It's a real mixed bag. Now, of course, last night or over the last trading session, we did see Bitcoin move to new lows within this little pullback that we're seeing at the moment. As a matter of fact, we pulled back to a low of 7455. And we pulled all the way back up. So that was down, you know, two, probably 3%, three and a bit percent at one stage. Then we rejected that area. We pulled straight back up and now currently sitting at seven hundred, sorry, $7,739, only down 0.63%. So on the grand scheme of things, not a great deal. It's a very interesting candle, to be fair. It's just a little bit strange to me. Maybe we'll see it move up from here. I just don't know. What I do know is there's not a lot of clarity uh, on, the, on the Bitcoin chart as it stands right now. On Ethereum, it's, it's at $243.55, down 1.1%. And again, very similar type of candle there with a bit of a, a low test. Didn't hit new lows like Bitcoin did in that little pullback, but it definitely has rejected the lows of the day by quite a substantial amount. The lows on Litecoin was 235 and we're currently at 243. So a nice little pullback up into the range of, um, there's still a red little candle, but it's not looking too bad considering where it was. On EOS, $6.26, still a gang holding on to $6. Yes, it did test below $6. It went down, it went below $6. The low was $5.91, all right, $5.91. It rejected those lows off of $6, and again, a very, very undecided looking chart in my eyes, and not one that I'm really that interested in for the moment. Then we move into some green. Stellar, it's up 2.14%, sitting at 12.4 cents. It's a bullish candle. I mean, it's a green candle, it's a positive candle, but there's not too much, as there hasn't been for quite some time on Stellar, uh, there's not too much of a bullishness there. It's really, it seems a bit caught. It's, it's like it's looking for uh, looking for something to move it higher or, or lower, but it doesn't know what it wants to do. XRP is at 4.22% and actually has quite a decent sort of candle right now. Again, not one that I'm looking to really trade, but it's at 41.7 cents and it's a pretty good mover. One of the biggest moves did the upside out of the top 10. And that brings me to Litecoin, which is the biggest mover out of the top 10. It's actually at 5.9% right now, a really nice looking push to the upside. We're currently just trading above that old resistance of 109, and it does look more bullish than most of the market, given the fact that the uptrend or that push up has still held a really nice trend right now. I mean, we may actually see this be a higher low. Bitcoin Cash is trading at $390.48, down 1.8%. And again, basically mirroring the Bitcoin chart, although it did not create new lows in this most recent pullback. Binance is at $30.83, down 0.24 of a percent. It's pretty much sitting where it opened. You know, it's moved up, it's moved down. It's a very undecided candle. And the entire market, to be fair, is looking relatively undecided as it stands. Tron, despite the fact that earlier in the week we did see a nice bullish candle in that cradle zone, although it was a big candle, we still were looking more bullish. Although today in this session, it's down 5.83% and it's off its lows, but it still doesn't look all that rosy. Finally, so at 3.2 cents, down 5.83%. Cardano down 1.21, again, a rejection of the lows at 8.1 cents. Now in the news, there's quite a bit of talk about the fact that Bitcoin's struggling, fairly straightforward, easy things to consider and when we look at the chart. It's, it's all of it pretty obvious. Uh, we've got people saying gold is superior to Bitcoin. Okay, that's your opinion. Um, not a great deal more. We've got the SEC's kick crypto case. 
um, it's saying case shows just how far crypto has to go, given that the fact that the SEC is basically after kick about an illegal $100 million ICO. Not much else there that's of interest. I'm just having a quick skim through. Nothing that's really off the head. Nah, not a great deal. Apple, of course, uh, Apple's iPhone is taking its first steps into Bitcoin and crypto, following on from the uh, Samsung. Despite rising prices, crypto exchanges in Holland and Poland are closing. Okay, whatever. Uh, how will new cash how will the new cash cap law affect crypto trading in Australia? Well, that's going to be interesting. Uh, not a great deal more in the news right now, guys. It looks to me as another another day where there's not a great deal of action, and it's a very good day to be sitting back and being patient. You have a fantastic day. Don't forget to get across to tradercob.com and get onto the bi-weekly video newsletter. Have a great day and a fantastic weekend. Bye for now. This show is proudly brought to you by TraderCobb.com. If you want to get bi-weekly video newsletters on the markets that are not shown anywhere else, just subscribe underneath this video on the homepage. If you'd like to get some access to the free webinars to work out exactly what these trading strategies are about, pretty simple. Just go to free webinars. And if you've got friends or family and you'd like to learn more about blockchain and what the opportunity is, well, I've got a full 40-minute course there for you under free courses. Please share this link around and get involved.